special game of Overwatch. Uh, uh yeah, just special in the context of uh, if you hate Overwatch, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we have the silly game mode, the stupid game mode of Tiny Overwatch. Um, glad I'm not playing this, by the way. Um, <laughs> not even gonna beat around the bush here. It's a terrible game mode, but um, hopefully it's gonna be funny to watch these players uh, figure out how to play the game. Yeah, hopefully we get to watch uh, some good Overwatch players make big fools of themselves, because that's always that's always the funny. Yeah, um, uh, the only strategy I have ever heard of in such a game mode is when uh, Super TF employed the stand on the point with a monkey bubble and hope they don't see you or hope they just can't hit you because you're the size of a nickel. Yeah, one I've seen employed is um, the classic, if you're tiny but you're also Wrecking Ball, you zoom, but also are impossible to hit. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah, and especially on Lee Jong, uh Control Center, where there's just like that pillar that allows you to grapple around. I expect to see uh, games that could last up to... Or, sorry, not games, uh, rounds that could add, uh, end up uh, being like, uh, you know, 10-15 minutes long, because uh, nobody can kill anything on the point. Yeah, till the end days of mankind. In fact, actually, I, yeah, I've no. I've heard that some tiny Overwatch games uh, that started when the mode came out uh, are still going to this day. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, gamers strapped to their keyboards, forced mm. into internal slavery. Yeah, but uh, as we can see, uh, in terms of strategy, it looks like the uh, red team is going for a an aerial assault kind of team with a uh, ball sig. You know, pretty standard. Uh, tank composition at least, but uh, yeah, this, uh, I guess, I guess you know, hit scan probably not going to be very prevalent because uh, the smaller the target, the harder it is, it is to hit. Point presence obviously going to be a massive uh, point in this uh, in, on this map. I mean, the first the first to cap point, I expect to I expect to win because it's impossible to retake. Yeah. I feel like some of these support picks coming out from the teams are actually genius. Like the Mercy and the and the Brig and the Lucio, they don't need to aim the heals, right? So it doesn't matter if you're tiny. Right. You still get heal. Yeah, as you can see, the shields are incredibly small. Um, they they're basically uh, for yourself. I mean, I don't. I, they can't really cover a choke point, but I mean, I guess your bullets are the size of like peas anyway, so they're not gonna hit anything. Sigma Rock does seem to allow him. What the hell just happened? Booty has access to the video game. He can now play the game, and it looks like Booty wait, 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 the first cap. Wait, why, why is everybody turning big now? Oh, when you get kills, you grow. It, you it become a uh, larger oh, size. Oh, I see. So there's some strategy. So if you get kills, you're now easier to hit. and easier. Okay. So now we have a game on our hands. Yes, but by the same token, I believe you do way more damage when you get big. Um, and if you reach, you know, like a critical mass, you can start just meleeing everybody, and they die in one hit. Um, uh huh. So interesting balancing decision. Um, nice rally there by Invictus. I mean, able to keep his team out without really having to look anywhere. The stand the AOE, and you just uh, you just kind of win like goats. But um, you know our. Uh, Aro was throwing the ball that they're getting, getting the boop off. I mean, I don't even know if you saw Rusty Goomba there, because they're so small anyway that, like... It's, uh, I mean, impossible to see. I kind of dislike this play from Roar, honestly. If you're on the ball character, you're so powerful in the stall, right? Because you can have a billion HP and be tiny and small. Uh, and yeah. Strat. But now he's big, so then he'll just die, and his team could potentially lose the cap up to it. So you're so basically what you're telling me is that in order to win the game, he do, he just doesn't have to play the game. Yeah, he just has to spin. I really like that strategy. A uh, huge flux here by Booney. Not really gonna be like very useful because field is actually like pretty good, I guess. And Rusty Guma on that horse character. Uh, I mean these shield characters, maybe they aren't so bad, but uh, Arisa. Starting to turn big now. Fedora Master and Mabel kind of popping off there. And uh, yeah, these, uh, you know, the Tor pick also, I think, is incredibly intelligent. I mean, I don't know if Fedora Master did it on purpose. But I, I know he's like a Tor one trick, but I mean, the turret doesn't have to aim. This is true. 
uh, big zoning also coming out as well. The 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 rally on a very uh, a very large brig. You know, I don't have to aim. You get all that cleave. Makes it a lot easier for damage to come through in favor of a blue team. And they managed to hold the cap. Can anyone touch? No. Oh no. Unfortunate there. I mean, the red team really looked like they were going to um, take point there, but you know the stall. The stall from Fedora Master and uh, the mail from Maple was just incredibly valuable. Yeah, and blue team pushed up to the choke trying to stuff out the red team gamers before they could arrive at the, at the objective. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, as you said, the Brig Lucio is probably the way to go here. I mean, don't have to really aim. You can just look in the general direction if you're a Brig and just kind of use that AoE healing if you're Lucio. Uh, not sure if I like the Bastion pick because you actually have to, you know, kind of aim. Uh, Doomfist's abilities, I believe, are probably like significantly smaller, right? Yeah, I mean, he's tiny. Look at that. No, and we somehow see a, is that a counter pin right there. Uh, not really sure who's who because they're all so small. Um, oh, do this abilities, I mean, do they scale up? I can't really tell the visuals make it seem like they're bigger than they are. If they're huge, that's kind of OP. Either way though, Maple, oh, I do, do actually something think in the background. they are bigger than they are, but if you can't follow up with Doomfist, which is pretty difficult because everybody is so damn tiny, I don't think that you can actually get any value with the character. Yeah. No, we see like from Booty, maybe try to get a too big opening fix like he did last time. Trying to set up some- I, I can't even tell what's going on. This is terrible. And no one has actually gotten a kill, I believe, so no one has actually grown. But Doormaster is on the flank, though, and on the Bastion, so he can actually do damage. But, uh... Ooh, Shadow Blue Jay taking out Kaden. If that Doomfist grows big, he can start dumpstering some pools. Mikey Ooh, is well taking out Fedora Master, who's immobile. Maybe Red Team can take this, as the now Blue Team's just looking to stall Roar alone on the objective. Slamming down. Maple getting dumpstered by Shadow Blue Jay on the Doomfist, who's now large enough so that all his cooldowns will just cover, like, 90% of the map. Yeah, and uh, Mike, you know, Mikey, I, I don't, I don't really know about the soldier pick. I mean, everybody is the size of like your your pinky finger, like the width of your pinky finger, finger. So like, I feel like it's gonna be hard to track. Everybody on rig is pretty sizable now. Uh, I think that's like they're either bigger than normal size or all of them are at normal size. I think this um, rig is definitely bigger than normal size. Yeah, definitely bigger. But um, you know, I think you know with these big hitboxes, maybe it's possible to like. You know, maybe it's possible to, you know, actually get kills as you can actually hit them. Big ults coming from blue team, but they don't manage to find anything, and Mikey pops a visor in return. Auto aim coming up, and he doesn't have to worry about the tiny targets anymore. Yeah, blue team, uh, they were kind of split there, not really sure what's going on. I mean, it's a chaotic game mode, so in turn, you you probably, like, throw, throw all rules of Overwatch out the window, you know, get creative. And they're just in their spawn right now. Shadow Blue Jay is the size of like uh, like ten suns right now, I think. Yo, bigger than the Lijiang Tower itself with that Doom Alt. Yeah, and uh, we got some ginormous gamers here. I mean, they they kind of can just stuff the door. I and mean, what is that tiny Maywall gonna do? I honestly am getting a little worried for Red Team. As if they grow too big, they might get stuck in the hallway and not able to return the point. Yeah, and as you say it, like, they're just dropping like flies. I mean, their hitboxes are too big. Kind of a genius, uh, a gameplay decision, or, uh, a Balance game mode decision to, yeah, uh, increase everybody's size. Because uh, instead of it being impossible to kill, I mean, it's possible. I mean, if you win, you you should get more kills. And when you get ki kills, you grow and you should be easier to kill. Yeah. Actually, a tactical reset from Roar there, dying, so now he's tiny once again. And now he knows his team can just hold the objective with their tiny forms and never die. Right, yeah, I think a meditative's kind of developing here. You kind of, like, if you're a stall character, you you want to die as often as possible. Because you're, you're fast and tiny anyway, so no one's gonna hit you if you're small. And you're just yeah. gonna, gonna get infinite value. But well, it, with, like, Doomfist, I guess, you just kind of farm, and, and you just plow through the enemy team. Roar forced to use the minefield. Rusty Goomba using the tiny baby shield to run over the mines that are larger than the shield itself. 
Yeah, I, mean, I don't actually know if his shield like hits the mine straight up when he's standing. I think he might have to jump up to get those mines. Uh, I think Rasiguma does see more blinking around like a marble on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Marble on the objective. Now the oh, 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 what a hit! Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's insane! No, that, that that's play of the game. I don't care. That's play of the game. <laughs> Tiny booty caught up in the flux, but no one can fall. As I say, that the rally and the the speed boost and the uh, the bash managing to eliminate booty from the fight. Now it's the window and the dark turret. They dark turret the window because they know no one else on their team can hit any shots. But to no avail. The shield is there. Not enough damage to break it, and now it's stall time for the blue team. They just need to bring it back enough so that one of their gamers can start popping off and grow in size. Start deleting some gamers. Strudel frozen up by the, the May Blizzard, but it's not enough. And now Mikey's posted on the high ground in White Room with the tactical visor. General Uj as well. Rig on point, whapping down some gamers. Roar with the final desperation. Minefield, and he's growing in size, but it's actually very bad for him as he dies instantly once he grows. You know, I I don't think we commended a red team's uh, choice of heroes that round. I mean, I thought the soldier was kind of questionable, but if you get the aimbot, I mean, you don't have to aim, right? I mean, Doomfist, yeah. your hitboxes are ginormous. Uh, Ryan, you don't have to aim, and you have a shield that just protects yourself. I'm assuming you're just using it for yourself, because nobody's ever going to get like actually hide behind it. And then Sigma, of course, uh, he has his shield and eats and his. Ro I think his rock retains like full size too. So like it's just a giant hitbox. I mean, if you if you're a gaming warlord like Rusty Yumba, you can you can manage to hit those insane pins as Tiny Run and then grow in size. So once you're large, aiming again once is, is off is off the table. You don't need to do it anymore. Right. Yeah. I think we see a little bit of a meta going on. It seems like the healers that are best for this are. Bap, Lucio, and Brig. And uh, we see the Zen from Sudol. I mean, I like that pick too. I mean, he's kind of har Harmony Orb. Nice punch by Sh Shadow Blue Jay there. And a pin in from Rusty Goomba, able to open up the fight. People falling immediately. And not a lot of damage for the side of Blue Team. And now, uh, Shadow Blue Jay is growing Ooh. in size as well as Rusty Goomba. Huge double fire strike. Shadow Blue Jay cleans up the Doormaster as well. So now it's Roar on the ball, on the stall once again. But he can't dodge all of this damage. Maple does come back and take out Shadow Blue Jay. So one of those big fat people is off the table for a red team. Um, I mean, I TP think I, I think it's the picks by red pick. team are very great. Yeah, the TP does need to go down though. They're just gonna keep stalling point this way. I mean, unless they want to really stall this out. I, I mean, they could, but. I, I really I really don't want to see this chaos of gameplay anymore and I would really like this game to end, not gonna lie. <gasps> but um They finally take point but but we see that their hitboxes are absolutely ginormous because of how long it took. Oh my gosh. Okay, if Rusty gets a, like two more kills out in the courtyard, he's not gonna be able to lock back into point. That is <laughs> actually a great <laughs> a great observation. <laughs> and we see we see uh, Roar just on point as D.Va. His defense matrix is incredibly small, but um... Yeah. Giga feeds from red team, they pushed out and they got punished. Now blue team <laughs> has some size as they push back onto point! <laughs> we, <laughs> you know, we see that um... You know, because red team actually took too long to kill blue team, their hitboxes were far too big for them to see the other players. But now that they're small again, they can actually stall a point out for a little bit. Shadow Blue Jay finally going down, but Rusty Goma is still so tiny that that Maple is kind of lost trying to find him. I mean, <laughs> he, oh my no! Pins by Rusty Goomba. Oh, and that's huge. Fedora had grown so huge on the far that every splash rocket would have done so much damage. But now that he's taken off the field and returned to his tiny form, that's oh, a lot of damage. Look, look at Papa Tree stay. She's just hiding in the corner with her brick shield, so she can't really die. Oh, Shadow Blue Jay with a kill! Oh no way! What an insane stall for Red Team! They managed to clean out the big damage dealers for Blue Team, but now it's basically an even stall on both sides. You know, 
it's, it's just not very fair for blue team. Even if they retake point, their hitboxes just grow, and by the time respawns come, everybody's just so tiny that they just can't kill them, and everybody comes back. It's just it's just size diff, but in the other direction. Really, what they need to be doing is feeding kills into. Uh, the big players that don't need to aim, right? Don't need to look around. Don't need to see the enemy to murder them. Right. Like, yeah, yeah. If if uh, if Boonie here can grow large, blue team has a chance. But it's uh, not. It hasn't yeah. really happened so far. Shadow whips absolutely everybody because the cone is about the size of your index finger. But uh, you know, this stall is still going out. I mean, blue team, big, big Shadow, Shadow. But Boonie. It only got one person, but it's the Reinhardt, which is very important because the Reinhardt doesn't actually have to aim. But Rusty Goma able to pin in, doing huge damage. But he's just—he's actually at a size big enough where he gets killed, and uh, Blue Team able to flip the point back. Finally, Ed, this is exactly what you're looking for on Blue Team. You know, you have your supports big, right? So you're getting big heals. You have your more tactical reset. That's actually genius. Now he's gonna come back so, tiny, right? So big brain, so big brain. I, I think he's the only one who has the. The strategy down for this game, I mean, it, it, it's unreal, the, the pioneer that he is. Yeah, you have like a good balance of, of large and small players on your team. And now, now we see Booney on the point, just so fat. Can he find any swings with the Reinhardt? Stunned up by the break, forced to hold shield, and he falls! No, it's oh, but, terrible! But two more trades going on, Mikey has his visor, doesn't have to aim. The D.Va Matrix can only do so much, but a huge up by main build, but Rusty Goomba's tiny shield can block all the bullets somehow, and Red Team looks like they're gonna flip the point, while Lucio stalling for K uh, stall from Caden, able to uh, buy time for his team to come oh back tiny. Oh my gosh, the filthy net can- Oh, what a fight! Almost the most insane stall from Caden. I'm, I'm gonna need the Red Team to just kill everything right now, because if they don't, they're actually too big for themselves, and they're just gonna die because their hitboxes are so big. Rooney trying to stall for a little longer. Uh, Roar still on point, uh, allowing Kaden to come back. You know, th this stall is gonna go on for a long time, I feel. The blue team's definitely hoping for the stall to go on really long, because they need a full six recontest, or else it's really hard to, to uh, you know, take down these beefier targets, like the, the ginormous Reinhardt. As I said that though, Maple does manage to take out Rusty Goomba, but is instantly punished. <laughs> <laughs> the shadow goes about two inches in front of a uh, of Booney there. Unfortunately, unable to get anybody. <laughs> uh, oh, Blue Team finally flipped the point over. Oh, oh my, my god, this is huge! They managed to find the bomb, and I'm Fedora oh, Master lands the false bomb on somebody. That's this is terrible news for Red Team as they can't get on point! Wow, what an insane stall. Definitely some good adaptations we saw from, saw from Blue Team going into that last round, you know? I feel yeah, like I their character swaps really changed, changed the fate of that match. Yeah, I feel like uh, as the match went on, they, they started to get a feel for which abilities grew, which ones stayed the same and which one shrank, and also which picks were most optimal for Tiny Overwatch. I love winning even though they got none of the cards. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that, that is absolutely nuts. I feel, I, mean, I feel like we saw a definite meta develop where, you know, you just go these non-aiming characters, even like Mikey picking Soldier 76 so he can uh, activate aimbot. So he didn't have to aim, you know, Doomfist abilities being as big as they are, and Lucio and Brig just having the ability to either have AoE healing or just just kind of looking around, pressing buttons and hoping for the best. You know, unfortunately, Reinhardt um, kind of not kind of uh, okay in terms of damage, but his shatter goes like two inches in front of him if he's like slightly smaller than his actual self yeah i think the pin is really the the sneaky one right you have you have the little insect on the ground it grabs you by your toes as, as the giant player and slams you into a wall right like that's it's easy to hit the pin if no one's paying attention to you and the enemy is ginormous right right yeah, yeah. and uh, are we gonna get a cast switch here i guess we are I'm not quite sure when the next event is occurring. Get out uh, of my room. Oh, well, I guess oh, the next event is occurring now? 
apparently. So, uh, yeah, stick around. Uh, I don't particularly know if we're going goats or staying with this, but I hope we're going goats. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the goats match is next. Uh, so we're we're returning to better times. Instead of uh, watching the silliness occur, we are playing uh, the peak of competitive Overwatch. You know, the the tanks and the supports, of course. Yep. We will see you there. Yeah, see ya.
All right, and we're back with some goats Overwatch in our All Star Weekend. You're right, All Star Weekend continuing after the uh, well, the most interesting game of Tiny Overwatch. Uh, being a player in that, I can firmly say that it is uh, fairly awful. But you know, anything that Booney tells me to do, I will do. Yeah, you know, I was I was just kind of happy to see somewhat yeah. of a of a meta develop <laughs> within within one map. Uh, some of some of the no aim, no brain heroes coming out. Yeah, I mean, what it came down to, especially in that last map, right? Mm -hmm. Like. It just came down to playing stall characters and not doing anything. I know, uh, at least on my team, we were we were telling people with you know Brigida and Lucio especially not do any damage. Don't don't do damage. Stay as small <laughs> as long as possible. Uh, but you know, flipping from that uh, memory and probably you know one of the worst modes of Overwatch, if I say so myself, we're switching into. The best mode of Overwatch, probably one of the peaks of Overwatch gameplay, uh, one of the best metas in my opinion as a tank player. Uh, lasted a little bit too long. I think the DPS players in this game were a little angry that they never got to pick their heroes, but you know, just learn Zarya forehead. Yeah, as a former uh, Zen player, this was definitely. Uh... You know, kind of a make or break meta for for my climb out of the depths of uh, silver. Uh, <laughs> it, um, it's definitely a little a little more enjoyable than the dive that came previous to it, uh, where I would just die every two seconds. But you know, su such is life. Such is life, and we are on King's Row, hailed as being one of the best maps in the game. Especially for rush comps, I mean, Ryan's, even Ryan Zarya, which isn't very good right now, is, is pretty meta on King's Row, you know, always. So, playing GOATS on King's Row, I mean, this is this is just peak Overwatch, uh, and let's let's get into it, right? We're playing, we've got Zen GOATS versus Moira GOATS, so if you don't know, there's a triangle of GOATS in terms of who beats who, so it'll be interesting to see who wins this. We got Etc, the hitscan player, on the Moira, but Booney! Booney showing his MVP dominance. He's got two. He ran over Rusty Goomba. He's on the defense, just pushing into spawn. You think he's attacking with all of his energy right now, but nope. He remember he's on the defense. Uh, he just, I mean, that was just huge dominance on Booney's part. What did you see, Adam? Well, this kind of shows me the difference between Moira Goats and Zen Goats, right? When you have that Zen and you have that Discord Orb, that's giving you an extra, just large amount of damage. Well, Rusty Goomba is able to pick off the Brigida, but Booney once again coming back, taking three, gets picked off by Rusty Goomba, but it looks like the looks like the defenders will be able to clean up and get the final kills. I mean, this is this is going to be a very fast-paced game mode with with uh, attacking and and having a Lucio on the attack and the defense. I mean, everyone's just going to be getting back super quick. There's not really going to be a ton of time between fights. Absolutely. Uh, the we're only already thing here is uh, Booney is still on. Oh, he just he just made it back. So he did get back a little uh, late. Huge six-man grab, but there was no pop. Koi just didn't have, uh, he didn't have the combo. You know, you really want to be throwing that Diva Bomb into the grab. Koi didn't quite have it, but they're still able to clean up. I mean, just swinging into that grab as a Reinhardt, you can do huge damage. Uh, Booney did have to, did already have his Shatter at the time, so he wasn't able to charge it up, but yeah, Booney's, still huge damage. Booney's ult charging on in this is absolutely insane. Just the sustain that he's getting from his supports allows him to constantly be swinging into at least three people and he blocks and Booney the shatter. Blocks the shatter. <laughs> Sorry Koala, but Booney, Booney <laughs> does not want to let you talk. He just keeps making plays. Alright, we've got the trance committed. No ults. Um, no ults being used for that trance, but Mikey with only 25% to grab. I mean, there's really no point in holding that trance. And, and once again... Booney's got a shatter again! <laughs> he has it every two seconds. Booney's just got it on cooldown. There's really no point not using a Shatter fight because he's he's just charging up. I mean, look at that ult charge. A full 2% already. Wow, does this guy stop? And it's only going up from here. 
Uh, some important things to note, uh, we do have finally the uh, grab bomb combo on the blue team side and it doesn't look like there's anything except the Lucio ult to stop it. Well there's the grab, there's the bomb, Lucio ult is committed but, oh, you know, able to pick off Papa Triste, but I mean Rusty Goombas, he just had the good shield. And looks like looks like defenders are gonna are gonna just clean it up again. I mean, ults have been committed in fights, uh, and defend the defenders have just been able to stall it out and then win in the neutral. It seems like it is worth noting uh, the attackers team, uh, the team that, well, my side is uh, kind of missing their captain right now. Tyler Bonesy Perkins is a little MIA right now, and that you know Mikey on Mikey on the Zarya is definitely definitely good, but we are missing Bonesy's signature Zarya. Uh, yeah, the, the Zarya, the, oh, an arm block shatter from Booney. He's just really asserting MTD and he gets and a wall. Booney gets a huge shatter <laughs> of absolute massive shatter. But, a, a, you know, a big grab gets everyone. Is able to split off the team. Oh, Meme, Meme Supreme and Invictus were split off from that grab, but, but no one was able to focus them. Everyone was kind of just focusing that shield. And now, blue team is able to assert their dominance in the neutral once again. And, and it looks like they're just going to clean up. No touches available. Overtime's gonna go down. And, you know, they were able to get a tick, so it's winnable. It's not a tied game, but uh, it's it's not really looking good for... I gotta it's say, not really looking good for the red team. I gotta say, as much as we were watching and applauding and just, you know, relishing in Booney's MTD, you gotta give some of that uh, praise to his supports. I mean... I, did he die, what, once in that entire round? And he was playing incredibly aggressive. Uh, he, di he died He died once, but I mean, I, really, I think one of, one of the MVPs is is Budaweiser, or now, I guess, Roar, on the Brigida, really just throwing in damage. I mean, he's getting he's getting first picks almost as much as Booney is. Uh, and when Booney when Booney goes down, he's he's just a steadfast rock. If Booney's in their spawn, Roar is with the team, helping everyone out. I mean, that's just that's just great team play on his part. I will. Uh, it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a switch up from the red team. Rusty Goomba is switching off of that Ryan roll and onto the Ana, and Shadow Blue Jay will be taking that over. So. Rusty, I think what he's wanting here is he's wanting to shut Booney down. He's seeing that he's getting so much support. He's getting so much healing that if he can land that anti-nade, then it won't really matter how much uh, healing they can toss at Booney because it'll all get negated. True. And y we do have Meme Supreme on the Ana. I mean, that's kind of a... That's kind of his signature role on that Ana, so it, it will be the battle of who can land their anti nades right now. Booney, he's he's pushing in, but he gets anti just as just as Adam called it. I mean, big nade on uh, by Meme Supreme, but it hit the back line, and so no one in Ghost is really able to, to punish that back line. Booney doing the right thing, kind of pulling back, but right now it looks like Red Team has has the advantage, kind of pushing pushing blue team back, although Invictus was a huge pick on Shadow Blue Jay, dropped his shield a little too long. <laughs> Booney with a massive shatter and a huge charge just cleaning it up. I mean, props to Invictus, you know, that first pick, especially on the Reinhardt, is key. That's that's really what was able to snowball the fight, but Booney with a massive shatter and a huge charge. Team with the double kill. You know, they don't... You know, Booney, when you put him on Reinhardt and, <laughs> and and you allow him to play aggressive, there's just no stopping the man. He's he's probably one of one of the one of the better Reinhardts that I've ever seen. Uh, granted, I come from the depths of low elo, but uh, <laughs> play, playing it bugs. It's always it's always a treat to see him take the man on man to take that. Ryan v Ryan and just absolutely roll over anyone he's playing against. Yeah, I mean, especially with, especially with the uh, the just the huge damage buff on the Reinhardt. I mean, it really didn't help him in the current meta because Reinhardt's problem is is just getting to the opponents. But when you're playing goats and everyone's grouped up, you've got this death volley comp. It's it. I mean, that's just that's just a chance for Reinhardt to shine. Goats becomes enabling the Reinhardt with that damage buff. 
Mm-hmm. And there... so yeah, you were able to see Booney just kind of kind of flex dominance there with the with just the damage difference. Yeah, I was also uh, speaking of changes that have gone through since the goats meta was a thing. Uh, when goats was like the meta, you know, Brig had I think more health and more damage and more sus- and a little less sustain. I think uh, she did a little less healing, but I was just surprised to see how well uh, both teams' Briggs actually were, you know, staying alive. Normally, in in previous iterations of Goats, like Brigida would be right there with Ryan, right? But uh, with with this all this cleave damage coming out from boosted Ryan's, you know, hammer, uh, Brigida's got to play a teeny bit more safe. And I was just really pleased to see how well uh, both of the teams' Brigidas were managing that. Yeah, I mean that was that was just a great great playing on Budweiser's part, identifying that you know you can't really play as aggressive. Although he was still able to punish punish anyone that that left the goat's death ball. You know you really want to be playing with your Reinhardt. It looked like uh, on it looked like on Bonesy's team, a couple of people tried to get an off angle, maybe get some picks away from from the Booney Reinhardt dominance, but uh, you know that that was just punished by by Budweiser by Roar. And so that was just that was just uh, you know a great, great. Oh, I'm I'm blanking on the word, but great restraint on his part for not just going going right in as. <laughs> yeah. And for not just going right in. Yeah. Uh, it looks like they're gonna be switching up teams, doing a uh, classic s- snake draft, as is the UMN fashion, uh, as we see so often in pugs, uh, because Booney obviously just you know. He built the elite squadron. It, it was it was pretty one sided. As much as we want to congratulate some individual play on Team Bonesy, uh, Bo- Booney, Team Booney kind of just rolled over them. So they're gonna. Yeah, I was really up. hoping. Oh, go ahead. I was really hoping for a lot for a, a lot longer game than that. But you know, <laughs> such is the way. Sometimes, sometimes you sometimes you just lose quickly, and you gotta go GG. You gotta GG go next. But we will be seeing this kind of pug style pickup. Uh, of goats looks like it's down to it's and shadow blue jay to be picked up for the last spot two hit scan players no one really wants a hit scan in goats so not surprised to see these dominant hit scan players uh kind of put on the bench but these will be your teams for pugs style overwatch or pug style goat overwatch looks like we're staying on king's row thank god uh so looks like we'll get a round two to cast yeah, I'm interested to see who on Team Bonesy picks up that Rhine roll to go toe to toe with Booney. Uh, I think it'll probably be Bo- Budweiser, um, or I mean Roar. Sorry, the rebrand coming through. Uh, and you know, Poi probably being on that off tank roll, probably on the uh, Diva Zarya. Uh, I think that's normally the way he likes to play. But Roar being, yep. you know, a, a top 500 slash grandmasters uh tank player definitely going to be a little bit of a, a taste for for team booney uh we'll see if they can continue that aggression uh granted booney does have a little bit of a different support line this time so we'll see if they are able to manage those cooldowns and keep the man up Looks yeah, like I mean, just looking at that tank line, right? You've got, you've got, like you said, you've got Roar, great Reinhardt player, Poi, great Diva, Mikey, great Zarya. I mean, that's just that's just a winning tank line right there. It'll really come down to can the supports handle them? Looks like we're playing Junker Town. Uh, not, not always the best map for goats. Probably one of the the worst maps for Zarya, especially. Uh, just ha- having trouble finding value. But I guess if you're forcing both teams to play goats, uh, there's you know there's no problem, right? If, if everyone's just doing the wrong thing, then it's right. Yeah, uh, normally when you think of goats, you don't necessarily think of Junker Town, right? You think of, uh, you think of Widowmaker, uh, with those incredibly long sightlines on the first point. You know, this is where Etc. and Shadow Blue Jay, you know, would be early pickups if <laughs> it wasn't goats, if we weren't forcing the gamers to play the three tanks, three supports. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this would, I mean, this could be a great map for triple tank 
Bastion, you know, that that's I think that was meta for maybe one New York Excelsior match. But uh, you know, Goats well we'll see we'll see how Goats does. Looks like looks like Team Booney already already flexing. They're going to go for the early hold. Usually, usually you want to do this early hold with an Orissa, but you know. Booney's just too much of a Chad to, to wait at the bend for their team. He's gotta engage right away. Alright, and we're gonna get started. Let's see if anyone falls for it. And the pin oh, immediately he takes That's a shuttle. huge pick. He picking up I mean picking off that brigade is huge. They they will have spawn advantage considering they're inside their spawn. But you know, Booney doesn't really want to let up let up. If even if they lose here really, they're just kinda of stalling for time. If they lose here, they get another they get another fight. Although Invictus picking up two, Booney, oh, and Rusty Goomba on the Diva, you know. Rusty Goomba, we don't we don't really talk about it as much, but he used to be a very, very strong Diva player until he switched over to the support role to play for the Pizza Pirates last season. Uh, so seeing him back on the Diva dominance is it's kind of a kind of a throwback for me at least. And it looks like Papa Triste is almost back from spawn, uh, so they're still going to be oh, down that little bit. Huge doing. chatter. Huge chatter coming up from Booney. Oh, as but losing, losing your Zarya is huge. I mean, that's not a great trade. Lu Lucio gets back so quickly, and Zarya gets back so slowly. And Booney running at your Booney, he tries, <laughs> tries to do the tech where he stops at the end of the map, but isn't quite able to do it. Ends up, ends up dying in the process. And it looks like looks like Team Booney is going to be backing off, but again, you know, they they were really just stalling for time. It's gonna be it's gonna be at this corner right here, uh, where Fedora Master currently is. That's where you're gonna wanna that's where they're gonna wanna take the actual fight. Yeah, really when 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 you're holding at the door, right, <laughs> you're you're not probably going to full hold them at spawn. Oh a huge grab takes in all of the blue team. The legendary Grav combo followed by the the strudel uh, by the strudel transcendence. You know that's a, a legendary damage combo right there, <laughs> uh, and it is able to, to sweep them up, sweep them off their feet. They didn't expect it. Team Booney falling back. It looks like they will get another hold. Diva's the last one coming, but with the boosters, they come back fast. Rourke oh, Fedora the Master pushing a little bit too quickly. He got a little bit too excited. Uh, and looks like it's just going to be staggers coming in from Team Booney, trying to trying to hold the card as long as possible, one at a time, one at a time. Oh, uh, adapt just adapt just deciding to leave. It's not worth this couple of extra seconds. It looks like they're not going to give us a break. They're pushing all the way up. They're trying to catch Team those weak spawns. Oh, and that's that's that was a that could have been a huge bomb uh, uh, from Team Bonesy side, really keeping. Team Booney inside that small room with the Reinhardt. Unfortunately, a little lack of communication and Budweiser or Roar had already left uh, that small room. Poi eating the grab though. That's, oh, that's a huge, but does, that's just a huge play, but it doesn't matter because Team Booney is just gonna clean up anyways. They don't need grab when they can just do more damage. And the fight continues even after a full team wipe, they don't stop fighting. When he goes down to Strudel's uh, Discord orb. Yeah, it and looks like Team Boot. I mean, Rusty Goomba's stuck kind of behind, not really sure where to go. Uh, but it looks like Team Bonesy, without Bonesy, is currently cleaning up, just hunting down the last stragglers. This is the most dangerous game. And, you know, Rusty Goomba trying to get out. Booney is back, but, you know, you don't really want to take that fight with only three people. And they've got plenty of time before Cart gets to the points. So they've got time. One thing to watch coming up is Roar and Mikey with their big ultimates coming out online. We have Grav and Shatter. And in this oh, tight there court goes the Shatter, but it's blocked, and there's... I mean, Mikey hits a, a, a really big grab, but it doesn't matter because Booney is already killing too many people. Booney in the back line with a shatter. Someone save Team Bonesy from this man. And Invictus able to pumping in the damage up top. Gets Has to pop Trance just to live. Uh, Adapt, you know, able to, able to pick up one, but it's not looking too good with just a Baby Diva and a Zen holding cart. You know, maybe Brigida will be able to come in to, spa to stall. Pops the rally for stalling. 
But Papa Triste just can't survive that that bomb combo. It looks like it's just stalling out on the side from Team Booney as Team Bonesy cleans up. Yeah, uh, you know, it's always it's always nice uh, when you see the Bunny Blaster come out uh, and come up with a kill. Rusty Goomba 1v3-ing or 2v3-ing on point and manages to take out Strudel with the Bunny Blaster. You know, it's always a little haha -ha funny moment. A big haha -ha funny moment. And you see, you see Team Bonesy really kind of taking this aggressive position. Looks like Team Booney is going to elect for taking the high ground. Maybe trying to force... Yeah, looks like both teams are playing on the high ground. Man, I wish, pe wish people would play on the high ground in my ranked games, but instead we're going to play it in GOATS. Unfortunately, you know, Papa Triste falling off maybe a little bit too early, forcing the team to drop. A Graf will be committed. The Graf bomb, a little late on the bomb, but it doesn't matter. Forcing for, forcing Roar to kind of turn his shield, Team Team Booney is just able to put in the damage in the neutral and clean up in that grav. And after a somewhat disastrous uh, second half of the first point, going into the second point, uh, Team Booney finally managing to, you know, rally, bring it back together, and uh, finally get a stop on this team's Bonesy. Booney taking an aggressive approach in the stairwell, maybe to ho hoping to catch off some stragglers, but having to back off when he seems the entire squad was waiting for him. Booney taking this aggressive position, shatters into a shield. Booney, you know you can't do that. Double transcendence committed. They are, they are just. No one's going to die for the next couple seconds. It's all about taking an advantage in an advantageous position, and looks like Team Booney forcing people into that now closed choke. Uh, does just that. Looks like Booney was trying to touch the spawn doors there or something, chasing down uh, Shadow Blue Jay's Brigida, but he'll eventually, you know, settle down, uh, have some tea, and go back to point. You know, take a little. Looks like Nick just wanted to. Looked like he wanted to spawn in this kind of. Uh, not spawn, but spray into this mini choke point, hold them back. But the team's gonna back up, play together in the neutral. A beat committed and a grab, and a shatter, and a bomb. This, these are a lot of ultimates being committed. Uh, and, you know, Team Bones, you know, they're, they're, able to, they're able to get the kills and they're able to win the fight, but they kind of used everything. All they've got, I mean, they've got Shadow Blue Jays. Yeah, they've got Shadow Blue Jays ult, and then they might have a trance. So they, they might have two support ults for the next fight, but yeah, you know, they're not looking. When, when you press Q and the entire enemy team is all grouped up like that, you expect to win the fight, right? But you might, you might lose Val, but when you, will you win the war with, with this massive deficit we have? And Fedora Master is just going to pop a singular grab and essentially take out their whole team with Booney just swinging into it. Yeah, I mean, Shadow Blue Jay, he had that rally up. You know, you'd think rally in a grab, that's a good position to be in. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, Team Team Booney was just able to put in simply too much damage, and you know Strudel Strudel did commit that transcendence, but it's not really looking too good. Booney with a, a big shatter to clean it up. Uh, Poi, you know, Poi is is on point. He's there. He's standing there menacingly. He, he might be able to stall it out for a bit, but you know, with spawn advantages on Team Booney, you don't. You're, there's no hope of winning here. Booney looking like he wants some more, asking for a real challenge, spamming the come here Brian voice line at the end after he 180 shatters Roar. <laughs> Booney, I mean, man's MVP, you gotta give him a... let him have some fun, you know, and this is, this is definitely a, a better GOATS matchup. Uh, this is definitely a better GOATS matchup with the attack going a little bit further than it did last time. And it's, you know, if they didn't get it all the way, but it's definitely still winnable. There, mm -hmm. There's a lot of key choke moments, especially like first point. First point can be really hard to push out of uh, with the goats on goats. Uh, and the defenders the defenders do kind of have an advantage with this accessibility to high ground, being able to just kind of jump on the other team. So it's, it's definitely winnable. Ooh, big switches coming out for both teams. Looks like we're going with... Uh, the Monkey Diva goats on, uh, Team Bonesy, and, uh, just the Monkey Ryan Zarya on Team Booney. So, what do you, what do you think about these, uh, these Winston changes? 
Yeah, I mean, well, so... It looks like Team Boonie is really going to try to play Winston as an off tank. Uh, which can work, actually. It's not, it's, you know, it's not the best composition. Uh, and what's interesting here is Team Bonesy is going electing for the close hold despite not having a Reinhardt. I mean, maybe they're looking for some cleave damage. I just, I don't see this lasting as long. They just, I don't think they have as much sustain without that Reinhardt damage coming in. And, you know, Budweiser, he's able to take the high ground and kind of spam it, not spam into it, but kind of just zap into it. But Boonie's, Boonie's just going to charge him off. And with Rust Rusty Goomba down, but with kills coming in from Team Booney, it's you know it, it it wasn't a very good hold. I don't think you can really hold that with a Winston. You really need that Reinhardt. Yeah, I think maybe the thought there was that uh, they were gonna that Booney's team was gonna play the same thing and they were gonna have a Diva, because uh, then obviously Defense Matrix kind of useless against the Cleave comp against the Reinhammer and the Winston. You know, Taser. Um, as you can see, both both Winstons are getting a fair amount of ult charge, which means they're doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, but I, I just don't think that played out quite how Team Team Bonesy thought it. Was. Oh, Poi with a huge pick, able to pick off the Bergrita. You really don't want to see that happen. Booney though with a big shatter, saying, "Not on my house." Rusty Goomba. So now we're down with both Bergitas, and now a huge graph committed by Mikey. Looks like they're gonna try to trance that, but a little a little too late on that with Booney already going down. It looks like it could it could definitely be winnable. It could go to either side, but with Team Booney having spawn advantages, I mean Papa Tristi is already back on the Brigida. It looks like it's just two supports and a and a Winston, although Booney the all tanks are now on the point. I spoke a little bit too soon. Fedora Master going down, Booney getting cleaned up. Looks like Team Bonesy will be able to finish out this hold. I mean, what did you see there? Do you think? Did you think Team Booney could have played that a little better and, and won? Um, yeah, I was a little, I was a little skeptical of how um, Poi used that bomb. Uh, unless they're gonna switch off, it like, doesn't look like they're going to. Uh, they, I think, had won the fight basically at that point. It's just an ulti monkey against what four of their players, and uh, then he decides to use the bomb to stay alive. Which Nano Monkey coming in, able to. Do a lot of damage. Booney with a big shatter though. Will it be enough? Adapt picking up one, but with Mikey kind of flexing on Invictus, it looks like it's gonna be it looks like it's just gonna be cleanup crew. Although, you know, Adapt taking out Mikey, that's a huge pick. This it, it could go either way. Looks like Team Bonesy will have a minor advantage, but with two supports and a Zarya coming in, maybe, you know, maybe they can punish some out of position tank plays. Looks like Team Booney is electing to play a little slower this time. Wait until they have six. I think this is definitely the right play on their side. Grav being committed by Team Booney. And Booney's going to swing into it, take Caden. A big bomb. I mean, that was just a reset bomb, but he was able to get adapt. Looks like Team Booney is going to do what they do best and just win in the neutral. And start to clean up with Zarya 1. Yeah, it looks like just Team Booney cleaning up in the neutral. Some stalls coming in from Team Bonesy, but it's going to be really hard to win this. And maybe an unnecessary shatter on Booney's half, but it does it does give them some extra time. Yeah, the I mean the the shatter is definitely good just to you know solidify that point, especially if they're worried about the respawns coming back in. Um, <laughs> but Booney, Booney no fear. Really across the map charge. I mean that's that's just that's just mean that's just rude <laughs> come on Booney. let the man play the game so team bonesy is backing off but so is team Booney. they're kind of electing to play a little slower maybe control this back high ground i you know i really expected them to just be running in but maybe with having the invictus sightline will help them budweiser is committing jumping in in a huge a huge five man from strudel just totally negating all healing, followed by the Graviton. I mean, that's that's just big damage coming in, and a Graviton Surge coming in uh, for Team Booney, but it, it, the fight was pretty much already lost. Booney taking two, though, you know, maybe he will just die. It was close, though. You know, Booney, Booney taking those two might have been able to swing it for his team. They still have the Zarya and the Lucio alive, but they were just a little bit too split there. 
Looks like Team Booney is going to try to not get picked here, although Team Bonesy committing in hard. Might get punished by Fedora Master's great bubble. And Adapt picking up Mikey. I mean, we don't even have time for Adam to talk between fights. I'm sorry, Adam, but it's just, it's just never-ending fights. Rusty Goomba getting picked off just too early. You really can't lose your Zarya that early. And now Team Booney, after a clean disengage, is full engaging. A Nanode Monkey is going to be able to do a lot of cleave damage, though, so he's able to get his ultimate stall out a little longer. Maybe enough for Team Bonesy to get back, and, you know, the three that were picked off earlier are now back, but... Oh my god, with Fedora Master, just a clean bubble splitting off the team, three and three, and then picking off Invictus. Or sorry, Roar was able to pick off Invictus, which didn't negate that clean bubble splittage. And it looks like teams are just are just fighting for control of this card. I mean, Beat was committed, but both grabs committed now. And a, I mean, I what's what's going on right now? It's just everyone's popping their ults. It looks like Team Booney has the minor advantage, uh, and Team you know Team Bonesy Team Bonesy has been hitting some great. Na uh, some great anti-nades, but it's just they're never able to, to really clean them up and finish off those kills. Yeah, there was a lot going on in that fight. I mean, Invictus somehow ended up in Red Team's backline fighting uh, Strudel. Strudel gets the sleep on him and just ignores him because he has to use his nade on himself. Uh, we got uh, Roar juggling Invictus after that. Uh, you know, it was just kind of a kind of a whole mess of like a two minute long fight but you know that's what you get when you play when you play goats with with these goons electing to take the high ground but booney split off he goes in a little bit too fast and so you know the rotate the rotating speed the rotating gear i guess just cuts him off from the rest of the team uh looks like team bonesy is able to gonna is gonna be able to cement this high ground although they then proceed to drop off it and it looks like Looks like, looks like Booney with a big shatter, not really able to, to get much. He is in the back line, electing to run away now. 60 seconds on the clock. You know, this this is definitely up to either team. Although with team team Booney really flexing, you know, there's there's really only one fight left, and it's going to be a really stalled out fight. What's what's Team Bonesy got for this? Uh, I mean, they don't, they don't really have any ults. <laughs> it doesn't really look like they have anything. Maybe if they can prolong the fight, they can get a grab, and they can land some massive anti-nade. But they still have to go through- oh, no, nope, and- Oh, don't. and they don't- oh, it was so close to touching, but they just- I mean, lose- it was probably lost anyways. I mean, losing your Brigitte that early is just really tough. Uh, but, you know, some really great monkey gameplay on either side, some great bubbles. You know, when you're playing the monkey into goats, you're really using that bubble to cut off the front line and the back line. And some great plays by both monkeys, both Fedora Master and Roar. But it looks like uh, it's just going to be <laughs> Booney's Reinhardt dominance yet again. With, with an 81%, 81 kill, participation. kill participation. Absolutely incredible. You know, Booney's been using this conductor skin more, and I think it's because he's driving the pain train. He's just swinging non stop. You'll see maybe a flash of a shield every every couple seconds when when maybe he needs to block a shatter or a key ability but he's just non-stop the man the man is just a w key wilson not and looks like that looks like that will be wrapping it up for the all-star games today you know bonesy he never really showed up but maybe he'll make his big maybe he's just charging up for his big appearance tomorrow in which we'll see the all-star teams play off in normal regular old boring overwatch uh, best of five series. Team Booney able to take both wins, so they will get they will get to choose the starting map type uh, for tomorrow. But maybe with Bonesy back, Team Team Bonesy with Bonesy might might be able to turn it around in the best of five series tomorrow. Yeah, I look forward to playing. I hope everyone looks forward to watching. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see. Perhaps uh, the best player at the university uh, perhaps might might show up and make a difference uh, for his team. We'll, we'll, that is yet to be seen. Uh, perhaps might show up, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> uh, perhaps might build three grabs in a fight, you know? You never know. Perhaps, maybe. Well, signing off for today. 
TMI Tomer and uh, this is Koala King, aka Adam. All right, catch you guys tomorrow for some more All Stars action.